to Shyam. My name Hi. is Kurshid. I am from Uncle K Live TV and Radio. Yes. And uh, my desire and the reason we are roaming around in this place is to help people, new entrepreneurs who are going to invest in Dubai, to show them that how successful people can. Yeah. And the number second, my intention is for people who have already established here and they could show the tell their history. Uh, how I mean what was it easy for you did you have any ups and downs how did you come to the stage where you are now fine uh, it was a long journey okay. uh, which started in uh, early uh, 1995 of course uh, we started as a trading company and uh, we had a small business but we had a long vision and especially our owners Basically, I'll repeat this. You are, you are, I mean, you are just throwing at the right bull's eye. You know, we had, we were a small business, but we had a long way. I'll, may I use this one? Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. I'm stressed this out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because what happens? Unless you don't have the vision, you cannot plan. Cannot imagine. I mean, so you 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 need to uh, have a vision. You need to uh, plan something, Correct. and then accordingly start working. Correct. So uh, we knew that we will be a successful company, of course it will take time, but let us do it, let us start it. So we had a very humble uh, beginning, very small uh, you know, business to start with. Uh, we started in uh, Dera with a very small office and few staffs. Uh, but that was uh, really, I mean the market uh, accepted us, it was overwhelming. And soon, all our products, because we were importing that time, and this whole market as Dubai is now, that time it was all, the market was flooded with the imported items. But to be very frank, uh, there was nobody who can have all kind of products under one roof. So that was the idea which came to our mind, okay, let us have all the disposable and packaging products under one roof. Like when you go to the supermarket, and you go around in different sections and you need your household, all the products here and there. You fill your basket. You fill your basket, you go to the cash counter. That's it. And you just come out. Your time is safe. So this was what uh, we thought of doing and we started with a uh, few products and soon we thought and we soon we found that why not if we bring this or that, that also will move and because customers started asking do you have this do you have that do you have this do you have that so we have started noting down what are the products required what are the products required and which the products which were in more in demand we have started bringing those uh, i'll have to interrupt you here i think it's getting very exciting i thought of, you know styrofoam products and all they, they don't have glamour and all but the person itself <laughs> has so much glamour i'll ask i'll tell you one thing because why it's exciting when you say the customers would ask us and we would note it and then we, it's very few companies will do it. Okay. You go to any place here, you ask for something, they will say, sorry, we don't have it. That's it, finish, okay. <laughs> they will not even take the phone number of the person. Please give us your phone number. If we have it, we'll call you. Nobody bothers. How do you train your people? Because nobody is coming directly to you. It no, must be I'll, coming through yeah, your people. I'll, I'll tell you something. We yeah. were having a very small team okay. where the owners were directly involved into day-to-day uh, -to -day businesses. Okay. Now, they are the role so, sleep type who exactly, are working with exactly. you. That was company success. I mean, I mean we, were, we were there to uh, take care of... Loading the cartons and exactly. all that. I can I get mean, the picture here. Yeah. I mean, you can simply understand that it was a very hard job. but. We had taken a challenge, we had taken an oath when we are getting into this business. Let us satisfy our customer at first step. Because if the customer is not satisfied, he will not give you the second order. Because this is a service oriented business. And the Dubai market, especially the Emirates. I thought it was a manufacturing business. How does the service come in? No. This, because you have manufacturing, but you don't have people, you don't have people to go out and, and, and collect the orders. I'm just, I was just telling. Yeah. Trying to see where you will go. Of course, very few people will even mention the word of service. No, why not? Because this is what we have grown with. And that is why we are so successful. Okay. Today. Now, will you 
will, I, will you be able to arrange a meeting with your other team members, the founding members? Why not? Why and we could take an interview because yes. I do customer service training. Okay. And I would like to put that on that. Team. Why not? Why not? We'll be happy Whenever to you are convenient for maybe after two weeks. After no two weeks, problem. We'll come to no your problem. office. Yes, yes, and please. We'll do, and so if you want, we can do it live. But, you know. These type of places we don't do it live. We don't These know what the other person is saying. And exactly. All. We have to yeah. edit. True, true, true. So otherwise, our all our things are live. They go at the same time. Okay. And then we have a scheme where we may be putting your products and uh, giving on discount. We'll be selling them, mm -hmm. showing them that you go to the showroom. They are selling it now. The people right. rush to your place. All right. So we could work into that scheme. No, no, no issue, no issue. But so now the products, if I see, these are just uh, hand towels, or they are still no. They are splendid. Like uh, these are called all hygienic paper products, where you have all toilet rolls, you have kitchen towels, you have napkins, hand towels. So what's the difference between these and the others in the market from China and all? Definitely, there will be too much difference. Uh, depends from what kind of company you are bringing the products, whether they are scientifically managed, whether they are really having a state of the art technology whether they are following all the guidelines of the procedures as far as technical uh, aspects are concerned. So in other words, sorry I keep interrupting because of the time. In other words, it's not just bringing the bulk and cutting no. and fitting it into the no. box. It's not that. No, no, no. no. We, we have invested a lot into all kinds of manufacturing. That means you are making paper also here? No. We, we are not making, we are just bringing the product here. I mean, the roles as you said. But again, I mean, you cannot just bring any X, Y, Z roles from anywhere, from any uh, place. Because you have to look into that, who are the supplier for those. Because we uh, are dealing with only the uh, certified, uh, you know, uh, plants, those who are FHC certified. Uh, and uh, uh, we deal into all uh, the virgin quality materials. Because there are a lot uh, in this, I mean, recycled or scrap. Plenty, I mean, there are plenty because that is again one area where we can discuss for a whole day. But what I am saying, like, we are very much concerned about our raw materials, uh, raw materials supplier, those who are all top class, world class. So, uh, that is one part which is very, very, very important in this kind of business when we are going for manufacturing and serving to our customer. So, we have all top class customers with us, uh, you talk of any food chain, you talk of any five star hotels, you talk of any facility management. So that when you say this, are you also on the list of uh, RDs, McDonald's, because they have their own specification exactly. and they would prefer to bring only from America. Exactly. So th there are many companies in, in fast food chain over here those who use our brands, our products, and we also do customization for them. Even under their brand also, we do a lot many products. So as you correctly said, there are some companies, they are uh, bound to buy from their franchises, wherever it is. But yes, at the same time, they also look into if we can help them up. And we have helped them a lot. To in case of emergency, when they are short Not only in short. emergency, for a regular business, okay. for a whole year like 365 days. So there are many, 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 many things we are doing for many, many companies. And that is our part of the job, which we are always delighted to do. So, I mean... So, uh, now, coming back to this product is mainly used for picnics, disposable, fast food. Have you ever made a full package for a family going out on a picnic or a baby's birthday party outside? So do you provide the charcoal and that the, the, the briskets, I mean not brisket, that thing where you put the charcoal, okay. the barbecue thing. Okay. So one, one just takes everything from you and they are ready for a picnic. No, not Only exactly. Only they buy the meat and all those <laughs> Not exactly that because uh, we don't have that kind of solution with us. But yes, as far as only packaging, because again charcoal and all when you take it, uh, that doesn't come under packaging. Because that's a different product altogether. But yes, I mean majority of the items which is used into picnic or takeaways or uh, any kind of parties and all we have different different products of course cannot be wholesome everything but yes majority of the products we are manufacturing 
and which can be used on to those occasions and those parties, as you said. Uh, yes, we can. What about thermoses? Cool and hot. And yeah, we have we have products for uh, cool and for hot both. Uh, like no, no, those are the glasses and all. Yes. No, no, I mean. Uh, no, those containers we don't have. Okay. Those those buckets we don't have. Uh, we are not into that until now. Because that is again a different field altogether and uh, different kind of technology, different kind of machinery and modes. Uh, but majority of the things which is required into fast food or for supermarkets or for hot and cold food caterings, uh, airline caterings, all kinds, wherever there is food and there is packaging required and there is a transportation for that food, there is a container required. All these areas are covered by us. I am really, really very, I mean, impressed by the way you are doing. Do you have any video showing your process, how it is being manufactured back so we could play it on our TV? We have, we can see here, and some of the, uh, like, you can see that here, uh, what yeah, we are... something like this, can yeah. we have a copy of that? Yeah, that, in our next meeting, we can arrange that. Yeah, after you are free from here. Yes, so I mean, not, not today. No, no, not today. Yeah. Not from, when, we are, when, this exhibition is when we are going for the next meeting, as you said, that you want to have a meeting with our you know, owners also at the same time or with the team. I believe you still remember that. I thought you had forgotten that by now. Uh, so you are that? going to arrange that meeting with them? I will do that. Okay. I will take you for your word. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll just be in touch. I will. Just I will. It's our just job. Be in touch. <laughs> just be in touch. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So, Mr. Shyam, thank you very much for your time. So, you so much, my final uh, this thing, you have been here doing business and all. How did you find the government of Dubai, their help, their support? They, because without that, nobody can succeed here. Definitely, uh, I have real good word, big words for this country, for this government, because the government has always a very, very helping attitude uh, for the people, those who are coming here, for uh, any businesses. I mean, government has a lot of free zones here where you can have a very easy uh, licensing uh, uh, procedures. procedures. Yeah. And uh, secondly, like government is also uh, uh, giving you a lot of a space in different zones for uh, your business setup. And also, I mean, like for if you are going for a small setups, those setups are already made. You need to just pay for uh, those fees and you can uh, start business from the day first. I mean, you will have just walk in and start, yeah, just yeah. walk in and start. Correct. So, so I mean, I frankly say that uh, this government, this country, is like one of the best or something very different than any other countries in the world. So, Where, in your excitement or in yes. your feeling, I would say the feeling. Yes. What do you see for 2020? Are they going to really expand and succeed? Expo 2020? Definitely, because what happens, uh, as I said, that we had a vision for our business. The government has their own vision, and uh, this government uh, is not alone. There are people, there are entrepreneurs, that the whole country, the whole world is supporting them. So, uh, what I believe that yes, whatever the vision they have, they have already started working on that. So, definitely, it will come true. They are going in the right direction. Exactly. Okay, sir. thank you very much.